This episode has been made possible by the support we get from Fort Collins Kia. If you are in the market for any electric Kia, not only do they never add market adjustments, they will deliver your car to you anywhere in the 48 contiguous states for out-of-spec viewers. More information in this episode's description. Hello and welcome back to the Out of Spec Podcast. BYD has released their own autonomous driving system, God's Eye, meant to rival Tesla's full self-driving, at least with its highest level system, the D-Pilot 600. Now, D-Pilot comes in three levels, 100, 300, and 600. 100 uses all of the cameras in BYD vehicles. 300 uses one LiDAR system as well as the radar sensors and vision. And then D-Pilot 600 uses a combination of three LiDAR, lots of sensors, radars, and cameras, giving it the most ability, ability to use it on highway and city driving. Now, D-Pilot God's Eye will be available on all of BYD's lineup, all the way from their cheapest vehicles, the BYD Seagull starting at just $10,000, all the way to the BYD Yang Wang U9 at $250,000. But again, in different levels of abilities. The cheaper BYD models will get D-Pilot 100, which allows basic, autonomy the 300 level and of course 600 that's going to be uh, allowing you to use the system in city driving as well as highway driving and because currently china does not let vehicles have hands off assistance driving they want your hands on the vehicle pretty much at all times this is the same thing for the 300 and 600 within city and highway driving Unlike in the United States, where really we only have Tesla pioneering when it comes to uh, autonomous driving systems and robo taxis, in China, there are multiple different companies that are working on this, from Huawei to BYD to NIO um, to Xiaomi that are working on full self-driving systems that will work not only on the highway, but the city as well. Now, currently, Tesla's full self-driving is not offered in China, and Tesla is is working on that, but it could be that China is delaying Tesla's progression of full self-driving in China. Now we know how tense relations between China and the United States are getting, especially with the United States limiting China from exporting its electric vehicles into the United States, while China is letting Tesla really have its own reign in China, right? Tesla is actually the only automaker, US automaker in China without a Chinese joint venture. Ford, Volkswagen, uh, VW, they all have Chinese automaker partners. So they're really not running their factories on their own. Tesla is doing it all by themselves and China is letting them do so. And it could be that maybe China is delaying FSD approval as a bargaining chip. Maybe they're favoring what BYD, uh, Xiaomi, Xpeng, uh, Huawei, Neo are doing just to help them get a better footing when it comes to full self-driving and autonomous systems within China. And as of right now, this puts BYD ahead of Tesla. But again, for now, Tesla is likely going to release full self-driving in China sometime very soon. And we'll see how well that competes with uh, BYD's 600, D-Pilot 600, as well as Huawei's highest autonomous driving systems within highways and cities. Now, I want to kind of come... Now, I think the best part about this is it's going to be free to all BYD drivers. This is not something that they have to pay for, a hardware add-on. All the vehicles already have the hardware installed. It is a free over-the-air update that BYD is going to be offering. Likely the reason it's not going to cost a lot of money is BYD trying to be competitive with the other automakers that are making full self-driving or autonomous driving software, often included free in their vehicles, and the cost to charge people that probably would make BYD's vehicles a little less competitive. And so to be competitive, BYD is just giving it away for free. The more expensive BYD models will be getting 
pretty much FSD for free. Now the name D pilot 100, 300 and 600 comes from the amount of operations that each system can complete. So the D pilot 600 can complete 600 trillions of operations per second, uh, also known as tops 300, the D pilot 300 completes 300 trillions of operations per second. And then of course the 100, 100 trillions of operations per second. And so as you go up the more expensive vehicles like the Yang wing with three LIDAR uh, head for uh, hardware to be able to sense its surroundings, allow it with its more expensive computing power to complete 600 trillions of operations per second, which allow it and enable it to have not only highway, but city driving assistance as well. For context, Tesla's hardware version three has 144 trillions of operations per second, while Tesla's hardware four has over a thousand trillions of operations per second. So even BYD's 600 system, the pilot 600 system, isn't capable of as many operations as you know, Tesla's full self-driving hardware for system, which kind of gives you an idea of how far ahead Tesla is in some regard. Now, again, with the advancement of uh, AI systems like we have with DeepSeek, you're likely not going to need to a capability of doing tr uh, thousands of trillions of operations per second. You're you're going to be able to streamline what's needed and what's not. And so it's likely that BYD found a very efficient way to be competitive with the full self-driving models that we have across current Chinese automakers and with what Tesla has in the United States with a less powerful, with a less powerful computing power. Now, I think a lot of what you'll see online is people saying that BYD is pretty much giving free full self-driving to all of its customers, which in essence, right, for the more expensive models. However, the 100 and 300 are only available for highway driving. Well, Tesla's full self-driving is available on highway as well as city driving. It's also worth mentioning that BYD has no plans of this being a robo taxi. However, BYD has implemented some interesting self-driving features, which I'll read here from their own press. So starting off, BYD reveals D-Pilot Advanced Intelligent Driving Assistance System. BYD, the world's largest manufacturer of new energy vehicles, which they are now, released the groundbreaking D-Pilot Advanced Intelligence Driving System, D-Pilot System, at its headquarters in Shenzhen. The D-Pilot System with a lineup of D-Pilot 600, D-Pilot 300, and D-Pilot 100 underscores BYD's commitment to making high-level intelligent driving assistance systems accessible to all consumers, which will significantly accelerate intelligent transformation of the automotive industry. Also worth mentioning, again, BYD, unlike a lot of their competition, including Tesla and Huawei, really didn't have the best highway driving systems. From what I've read, it was usable, but now with Deep Pilot, it's not only usable, but safe and trustworthy and seems like it will continue to innovate. And so previously, right, BYD just had really basic highway assistance systems. Now they're kind of leveling up what they have. Now, D-Pilot Intelligent Driving Assistance Solutions for the masses. The D-Pilot system comprises three distinct versions, including D-Pilot 600, featuring a triple LiDAR setup primarily applied to Yang Wing models. D-Pilot 300 equipped with a single LiDAR unit, mainly in employed in Denza and selected BYD models, and D-Pilot 100, utilizing a tri-camera setup implemented across BYD models. Notably, the D-Pilot 100 system is equipped with a front-facing tri-camera sensing hardware and an end-to-end -end control algorithm, making significant advancements in architecture, sensors, algorithms, and data. Therefore, D-Pilot 100 systems provide much needed functions and scenarios that consumers care about the most for highways and urban expressways. The high-speed navigation on autopilot can follow the navigation path to complete tasks such as entering, exiting, uh, exiting ramps, lane keeping, cruising, autonomous lane changes, and avoiding bypassing certain obstacles. Additionally, the automated valet parking, which is kind of like their smart summon, a system can achieve convenient functions like drop off and go auto park after lock based on users parking habits in various driving scenarios. 
Memory navigation on autopilot is suitable for high frequency travel routes, such as commuting, providing, providing multiple vehicle functions like automatic stop and go at traffic lights, passing through complex intersections, automatic overtaking, full scene bypassing, and negotiating lane changes. BYD focuses on usage scenarios of the greatest concern so that every consumer can enjoy the safety, comfort, and convenience brought by BYD's technology. The cornerstone of intelligent driving, the deep pilot system can greatly enhance the safety of consumers. The deep pilot 100 can achieve over 1000 kilometers of autopilot without manual intervention. Uh, it's which is 600 miles. It's automatic emergency brake function can reliably stop at speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour with plans to gradually extend this capability to 120 kilometers an hour and 140 kilometers an hour an hour. The AVP system boasts a success rate of 99% ensuring rapid decision making in emergencies to prevent accidents. Leading the universal intelligent driving era with over 5,000 engineers dedicated in the field and a vast vehicle cloud base covering over 4.4 million vehicles equipped with level 2 autonomous driving systems, BYD is capable of leading the transformation and popularization of intelligent driving. Now, this is also led by DeepSeek. If you're not aware, DeepSeek is uh, China's version of ChatGPT OpenAI. It was based on ChatGPT's model. However, it uses less computing power, which makes it cheaper to replicate and implement in vehicles. Uh, as the world's leading manufacturer of new energy vehicles, BYD commits to leveraging the technological innovations for a better life. With the D-Pilot Intelligence Strategy, BYD will continue to spearhead the evolution of new energy vehicles aspiring to propel the transformation of the world's automotive industry forward and to provide safer and more sustainable transportation solutions for global markets. So clearly, right, BYD is putting their foot forward, trying to step into the competitive game of autonomous driving systems. As I've mentioned, BYD already really wasn't competitive in this space. Now they are able to, to really compete. Um, now, really, I find it funny how in the United States, how far behind we are when it comes to autonomous driving systems. Again, all we really have is Tesla. We have companies like Waymo, which are offering robo taxis in multiple cities across the United States. Um, however, these aren't customer owned vehicles. And it definitely isn't happening at such a scale like a full self driving. Um, but again, no driver in the seat. So it's currently doing something that no other company is doing. So we don't really have among you know, our selection, Zooks, Waymo, Tesla, that are really implementing uh, forward, full self-driving and just autonomy systems in vehicles. Of course, we have Blue Cruise, Super Cruise, Rivian's gonna be coming up with a more advanced version of Driver Plus, things like this coming in the future, but nothing as advanced as what we see in China. In fact, Kyle had a whole entire video with a Huawei vehicle driving around China autonomously, kind of Huawei's version of full self-driving, and it performed excellently. I think the only thing really keeping um, innovation stifled in the United States is there's no competition. There really is no competition. Now with Tesla advancing full self-driving, maybe automakers will start to notice and wanna make their own moves. But if we allowed Chinese automakers to come into the United States, um, I think legacy automakers would be in quite a bit of trouble. Um, and yeah, I, I'm excited to see how this develops, right? BYD has the uh, largest vehicle EV fleet. Now, of course, they not only produce battery electric vehicles, full battery electric vehicles, they also produce plug-in hybrids, but both of these models are capable of over-the-air updates and have the hardware for minimum level two autonomy. And so with all of the driving data that BYD has across the world, from South America to Europe to Africa to the Asian Pacific markets, Australia, where BYD sells their vehicles, they are gonna have a lot of driving data that they can implement, mix it with DeepSeek. I think this is going to get the ball rolling very quickly. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I'm not like really into all of what's happening in the Chinese market, but if this is something you're interested in, but if this is something you're interested in, let me know down in the comments below and I'd be happy to talk about it more. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Out of Spec. 
podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Out of Spec Podcast, and I will see you guys in the next one.